the sport. Truly, and done in the testament of a good conscience. The deer was, as you know, sanguous in blood, right as the foam marker, who now hangeth by the jewel in the ear of Pilate. The sky, the look, and the heaven, and and it falls like a crab on the face of terror, the soil, the land, the earth. Truly, good master, Halafnes, <laughs> the epithets are sweetly varied, like a scholar in the least. But I assure you, it was a buck of the first head. Sir Nathaniel, hot credo. <clears throat> it was not hot credo. It was a prejudice. Most barbarous. Intimation. Yet a kind of insinuation, as it were. In real, in way of explication, Fasir, or rather ostentari, to show his inclination after his undressed, unpolished, uneducated, unpruned, untrained, or rather unlettered, or rather as unconfirmed fashion, to insert again my hot credo for a deer. I said the deer was not hot credo. Twas a pricket. Twice on simplicity. This cactus. Oh, thou monster nurse. How to form dost thou look? Sir, he hath not fed on the dainties that are bred in the book. He hath not ate paper, as it were. He hath not drunk ink. His intellect is not replenished. He is only an animal. Only sensible in the duller parts. And such barren plants are set before us that we thankful should be. For as it would ill become me to be vain, indiscreet, or a fool, so were there a patch on learning set to see him in a school. But, omne bene, say I, being of a old father's mind, many can brook the weather that love not the wind. You too are bookmen. Sir Nathaniel, will you hear an extemporal epitaph on the death of the deer? And, to humor the ignorant, call I the deer the princess killed a cricket. <laughs> Purge, good master Halophanes. Purge to abrogate all scurrility. I will something affect the letters, for it argues facility. The playful princess pierced and pricked a pretty pleasing cricket. Some say a sore, what? Not a sore. Till now made sore with shooting. The dogs did yell, put out a sore. Then sorrel jumps from thicket, or cricket sore, or else sore out. The people fall a hooting. If sore be sore, then Altasore makes fifty <coughs> sores, oh sore out. Of one sore, I and hundred make by adding but one more out. A rare talent. <laughs> this is a gift that I have. Simple, simple. A foolish, extravagant spirit, full of forms. Figures, objects, ideas, apprehensions, motions, revolutions. These are begotten in the ventricle of memory, nourished in the womb of Peter Mater, and delivered upon the melting of occasion. But the gift is good in whom it is acute, and I am thankful for it. <laughs> God give you good morrow, Master Person. Master Person, quasi pierced one, and if one should be pierced, which is the one? Mary, Master Person. He who is like to a hogshead. Of piercing a hogshead? A good luster of conceit on a turf burp. <laughs> Fire enough for a flint, pearl enough for a swine. Tis pretty, it is well. <coughs> good master person, be so good as read me this letter. It was given me by Costars and sent me from Don Armando. I beseech you, read it. Facile, precor, galida, pondo, picas, omnia, sub, umbra, reminot. <laughs> ah, good old Montorn, I may speak of thee as the traveler about the vent. Venezia, Venezia, coinante, vid. Quenante Pareca. Old Mantuan, old Mantuan, who understands thee not, loves thee not. Ut re sola mi fa. Under part, sir, what are the contents? Or, as Horace says it is, what my soul, verses? I, <laughs> sir, and very learned. Let me hear a step, a stanza, a verse, lege domino. If love make me forsworn, how shall I swear to love? Ah, never faith could hold, if not to beauty vow. Though to myself were sworn, to thee I'll faithful prove. Those thoughts to me were oaks, to thee like osiers bowed. Study his biased leaves, and makes his book thine eyes, where all those pleasures live that art would comprehend. 
if knowledge be the mark, to know thee shall suffice. Well learned is that tongue that well can thee commit. All ignorant that soul that sees thee without wonder, which is to me some praise that I thy parts admire. Thy eye Jove's lightning bears, thy voice is dreadful thunder, which not to anger bent is music and sweet fire. Celestial as thou art, O oh, pardon love this wrong, that sings heaven's praise with such an earthly tongue. You find out the apostrophus, and so has the accent. Let me supervise the candidate. <laughs> oh, it is not so, was the man, and why indeed not so, but smelling out the odor of her slaughter the fancy, the jerks of invention, imitari is nothing, nothing. So doth the hound his master, the ape his keeper, the tired horse his rider. But, Domicella Virgin, was this directed to you? Aye, sir, from one Monsieur Baron, one of the strange queen's lords. I will overglance the superscript. To the snow-white hand of the most beauteous Lady Rosalind. I will look again on the intellect of the letter. For the nomination of the party writing, to the person written unto. Your ladyships, in all desired employment, Barone. Sir Nathaniel, this Barone is one of the votaries with the king, and here he hath framed a letter to a sequent of the stranger queen, which, accidentally or by way of progression, hath miscarried. <laughs> Trip and go, my sweet. Deliver this paper into the royal hand of the king. It may concern him much. Stay out thy compliment. I forgive thy duty. Adieu. Good pastor, go with me. Sir, God save your life. Have with thee, my girl. Sir, you have done this very religiously, and in the fear of God. As an old father once said... Sir, tell me not of the father. I do fear colorable colors, but to return to the verses. Did they please you, sir, thank you? Marvelous well for the pen. I do dine today at the father's of a certain pupil of mine, where, if before a pass, it shall please you to gratify the table with the verse. I will, on my privilege I have with the parents of the poor said childhood people, undertake your benvenuto, where I will prove those verses to be very unmerited, neither savoring of poetry, wit, nor invention. I beseech your society. And thank you, too, for society, as the text saith, is the happiness of life. <laughs> and, Sartes, the text most importantly saith, I do invite you, too. You shall not say me nay. Papuerba. The gentles are at their game, and we will to our recreation. <laughs> <laughs>